Good morning, everyone. The puppies are now five days old. As you can see, they're no longer in their crate. Last night when we were changing over the blankets, Nala kicked up a big stink about it. She just didn't want it anymore. I guess she was starting to realize with the amount of puppies and litter, it was too tight of a space for her. And anyway, the dogs don't have access to this room. This is pretty much the puppy nursery. And yes, some of them are on the floor right now and not the blankets, uh, but you gotta realize this room is really, really warm right now. The temperature did decrease with it where they are now five days old from 29 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius. But like the heat in this floor is unreal. It's holding the heat really, really well. But if they want to go over to the blankets, they can. And as you've seen last night, we did have this back area covered with the blankets. But the more Nala's moving and the puppies are moving, they're just getting bunched up a bit. But no, they're absolutely fine. No worries. The floor, like I said, it's very, very warm for them. As you can see, they're quite cozy and content. I have Ariel's e-collar on the way for when she gets spayed and for her surgery. Also, I have the proper puppy scale on the way. I canceled the whelping collars simply because they have these ones on. They're gonna be on for a while. I found other collars that I also had that are like these ones here. See, that's on Bell. It's a different type of material. It's like a nylon material. So I have those if any other colors fall off. Also, I'll just order other ones local, worst case scenario. So that portion of the order got canceled. I also canceled, I had these reusable pee pads in the cart. And the more I thought about it, I was like, uh, by the time they get here and everything else, I was like, you know what? So that's now canceled as well. I just, like I said, have Ariel's e collar on the way and the proper pet scale because as you know, we've been using this little bamboo scale. I'll show you here now. This is what we've been using for now. We're just doing the job. It's tiny and perfect for the size they are, but I just wanted the real, the real deal, I guess. She's doing amazing. She had breakfast this morning. She ate all of her kibble. And she had egg this morning that she ate, so that's really good. She's been drinking water. Mama, let me in. You guys probably noticed too that the past few days I'll show little snippets when weighing the puppies of Ryan. And he hasn't had gloves on because the gloves I have don't fit him. But he has been washing his hands prior to touching the puppies and weighing them. Because as of now, as you know, until they're roughly a week old, I don't want to be handling them with just my bare hands. And even still, once we come, we constantly are washing our hands and sanitizing our hands to make sure nothing that we have can be passed on to the puppies. So we've been very cautious and wary of it. But no, in case you've noticed that he hasn't been wearing gloves, he has been washing his hands prior to handling the puppies. So, Hey, pretty girl. Yeah, are you happy? See, I'm so happy I have all these beautiful babies. Yeah. Uh, the heater just kicked in. Anytime the temperature drops below what we haven't set, it kicks in to keep the temperature of this room exactly where we need it to be. Yeah. <laughs> now it's just here eating her yogurt. Some of the puppies are nursing, others are sleeping. That's what she's doing here now, setting some yogurt. Pretty good. And this here is just Greek yogurt, plain, and no sugar at it. Yeah, is it good? But just a mid-morning snack for her. Like I said, you gotta really try to keep the water and food pumping in her because if not, she's gonna lose a lot of weight where they're nursing. Is mommy catering to you? Is that nice? Everything been brought to you? Yeah. And she always has water and food access in this room. We keep it over on the other wall over there for her. So. The dogs are just eating their rolled oats here now. Look how dirty the floor is. It's raining outside here today, so the weather is kind of all over the place, but it's very warm. But no, I'm just having their rolled oats here for lunch. Hey girlies, normally I give this to them as a breakfast every other day, but 
today we're gonna have it for lunch. Hey, pretty girls. But that's all it is. It's just rolled oats with lukewarm water, and you just mix it in together. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Don't chew. Oh, I was gonna eat the rest of Kenai. Certainly growing quite, quite fast, but the size difference, even just a few days ago, <laughs> it's unreal. Look at them, hi babies. Hi. <laughs> Nala's like, come on over, I feed ya. <laughs> hey Nala, I said, come on over, I feed ya. I have a surprise on the way for the dogs here now. So that should be arriving shortly, which is gonna be interesting and exciting, but it is quite a warm day. It's supposed to clear off because it's been raining all morning on and off. So hopefully now the sun comes out. Oh, the dogs outside, I don't know if you heard them just then, arguing over a bone, but the sun's trying to come out here now. So we'll see if they get to enjoy it here today because it's 20 degrees Celsius. It's supposed to get up to 20 degrees Celsius today, so worry. It's not that just yet, it's still too early. <laughs> They're like, we smell mama, but we can't see where she's to because we still can't see. No. And they can't hear where mommy's to, can they Nala? Because they can't hear yet. So all they're doing is basing it on their smell. Some of them are still fast asleep. I don't know where Teddy's trying to go. I think Teddy's just so used to his mom over there because that's usually where Nala has been going because there's no blankets down there and she just, whatever it is, she prefers being on the laminate floor versus the blankets. But right now she wants to be on the blankets. Oh my goodness, it literally just sounded like Teddy said mama. Teddy over to Nala here now. And yeah, like I said, they're just pretty much chilling here now. <laughs> Teddy's like, feed me, mom, feed me. Teddy. I don't think Nala. They just nursed and she's certainly getting tired here now and wants to just rest. But Teddy wants to nurse. So I might try to encourage Nala to allow him to nurse. And I'll let you guys go. There's not really too much happening right now. They're just slugging around because that's all they pretty much are right now, like little slugs. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get Nala to nurse Teddy. All right, so this is what I just had dropped off. And first and foremost, it's the surprise for the doggies. And I got them this awesome pool. Now they did have a pool last year and they had a little pool party, but Nala completely destroyed it. And it was probably my own fault because I wasn't quite paying attention. I was at other lawn type care stuff. And sure enough, she put a hole in the other pool and yeah. So this year I got them this one. We'll see how long this lasts. Hopefully longer than the last one because literally I think we got a week, maybe a week and a half out of the other one. So fingers crossed this one actually gets, I'm hoping at least a month. That would be a blessing. Now the other thing I picked up it is for my husband. He works so hard all the time. And this is just something I got him 
he loves loves tea and i thought this was absolutely precious yes i'm still in my house coat you can kind of see my reflection in the mug but it just says fur papa and oh that will be a little gift for him from the doggies and well me but mostly from the doggies his birthday was the other week things have been quite chaotic between Claire and her recovering from being spayed and well now Nala having well puppies it hasn't been a dull moment here so I just figured I'd get him that as a little gift and he'll receive that when he gets off work you just seen my indigo slash chapters order here is my walmart order i picked up a bag of puppy chow for my dogs i also picked up again these milk bones my dogs absolutely love these so i have those as well again we go through these like treats with six dogs you go through so many treats but there's those I also picked up some Mountain Dew for my husband. I don't like Mountain Dew, but he does, so that's for him. I also picked up the Simply Lemonade. This is our favorite lemonade brand. This is all we would drink whenever we would go to Florida. It was like the best, the best. If you guys know a better lemonade, let me know, but for us, we love the Simply. And I also picked up yogurt for Nella and the pups. They enjoy Greek yogurt, and it's just the plain yogurt. I also have the large beefsteak soft chew milk bones which is something else we go through a lot of but the milk brown uh, sorry the milk bone brand they absolutely love so there's those another block of cheese for myself my husband and our dogs we go through a lot of cheese in this house as well and of course it wouldn't be an order without something for our dogs in terms of a toy i picked up the beaver one for our dogs these were 10.98 each at walmart and i picked up this silly i guess it's a, yeah it's a raccoon there's the tail and i picked up the raccoon and it's the hearts squeakers fun sound ones <laughs> but yeah i picked up two of those one for our dogs and one for the little puppies I also picked up two cartons of eggs, as some of you know, we go through a lot of eggs in a run of a week for me, my husband, and our six dogs who also really enjoy eggs. So there's that as well. Now it's starting to get antsy and wanting to go out to use the bathroom, so I gotta finish this up quick. There's only a few items left. I also picked up hash browns for me and my husband. We love having these with our breakfast on the weekends as well. I pick up these throughout the week as well with my breakfast. I also picked up more turf builder that I I'm going to put it on the lawn here today, possibly tomorrow. We'll see, see when and if I get the time, but it's definitely gonna be within the next few days. This is the type that we always use. It just, with our dogs, it's the only one I can find that really like is resilient. And last but not least, I picked up four bags of topsoil. I almost forgot to show you guys that. You gotta let it fill up, okay? You gotta let it fill up, Nala. You're getting all your mud in it now. Okay. You got to fill up. You got to let it fill up. All right, Ariel? You're going to drink all the water. <laughs> There's not going to be any in it. Get in all the good girl, Nala. <laughs> you put a paw in. Go get a kenai. Go get a kenai. <laughs> good girl, Nala. Good girl. Go get it.
Good girl, Nala. Good girl. Y'all thinks it's just a big giant drink pole, don't you? Thinks it's a good girl, Nala. Did you get it? Good girl. Get it, Kinai. Good girl, Nala. Good girl, Nala. Might be a bit too small for you guys now that I actually have it set up and seen you in it. Should have got you a bigger one. Oh well, this will do for now. Go, Claire, go. <laughs> Good girl, Nala. <laughs> Good girl, Nala. Good girl, Nala. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Nala. Get in, Claire. You girls didn't want to get in? Get in, girlies. Get in, Kenai. Get the ball. Get the ball. Go get it, Ariel. Go get it, Ariel. You gotta get in. Look, you can get in. Oh, you guys got the water so dirty. But it don't help because we're just seated the grass, eh? So, here's some more grass seed because you guys got it all tore up. Go get it. Go get the ball. Good girl. Go get it, Ariel. Go get it, Ariel. Get the ball, Ariel. Get the ball. Look how dirty the water is now. Oh, no. There you go. Good girl, Nala. That must feel so nice. Where it's so warm today. Get it, Ariel. You got to get in, honey. No, 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 Claire. I just put some soil in that hole. Because you guys had that hole so deep in the ground. No, no, no. Good girl, Maria. Go get it. <laughs> Ariel doesn't want to get wet. Good girl, Ariel. Good girl, Nala. Nala's all about it now. Oh. She's like, I remember this from when we had our old pool. Yeah. I was like, watch out, I'll get it. <laughs> She's like, you wuss of a daughter. Your daughter's a bit of a wussy, isn't she? She won't get wet. Ariel, why don't you go get wet, girly? Cool down a bit, because it is not. <laughs> See if I can flick some more toys in there. Put this one in. Oh, good girl, Nala. She jumped up on me. Oh my. See, that's okay. You jumped up on me, girly. Good girl, Nala. gonna get in or no? I know the water's really dirty now. That's okay. Out of it. No, no, no. Claire. No. No. Oh my. We'll get you a sandbox, I already told you. We'll get you one. Oh, 
You gonna get it? Get it, Claire. You love that toy. Get it. Not the only one that seems to really be loving this is Nala. <laughs> Nala, you like it? <laughs> you like it? Yeah? No, no, no. Don't scratch at the sides, girly, okay? Now that, no. The fresh air clearly made her tired, but not it, girly? Yeah. And after all that pool-tastic fun, Miss Nell is back in nursing her little babies. Say the next time you'll see her now is when we do the weigh-ins of the puppies. Yeah. Hey, little angels. You're so cute. You're so cute. You like the new toy, Ariel? Yeah? You like that one? <laughs> Did you see that's four squeakers? Now make sure you share with your sissies, okay? Don't forget to share. One pound, I seen that. Looks to be about eight ounces. Yeah, eight point two ounces.
Red is one pound, 6.7 ounces. All right, I gotta straighten this out then. So I'll just, there we go. She's only one of the difference. This Arlo. One pound, I seen that. Nine point one ounces. All right, last but not least. Pink? Yep. One pound. Seven point two ounces. 